So I'm out here hiking in the desert. I think I just found a rattlesnake crossing the trail. So when you see him crossing the trail, it's very obvious. I don't know if you can see that yet, but just up ahead. So I'm gonna quickly run up there and see if that's a rattlesnake. Well, I can already tell from here it's not a rattlesnake. <laughs> All right, so it's a stick, but this is what they look like. It's very obvious that if you come up to a snake across the trail, they stick out just like that. Stick out, get it. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. I'm hiking just about sunset and I'm on this really clear trail here. And I just uh, kind of glanced over here and uh, there's all these kind of rocks here and there's a rattlesnake just curled up right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's probably about uh, 15 feet off the trail. So here's the trail and he's just right there curled up within the rocks. So the rattlesnakes are so camouflaged, it's unbelievable. I mean, it looks just like a rock. I'm not quite sure if you can see it just yet, but it's right in the middle of the, yeah, I just framed it here. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. See ya. There we go. That is just awesome. <laughs> so this is just a perfect example here of how rattlesnakes use camouflage. And you see, he's he's actually looking right at me, but he's not rattling. Just gonna zoom out here a little bit. You see how he just blends in? So when they're on the trail, they're actually very easy to see. Oh, actually you can see it. He's crossed this trail recently. You can actually see his track right there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you can see a little track right across the trail. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm gonna just come over here and see if I can get a better picture of him there. There he is. That's a pretty large Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Just curled up. So they'll curl up like that and they'll hunt. They'll wait for food to come by. And you see, he is not doing anything to me. He's not rattling. He doesn't want to give up his position there. That is cool. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, grab my equipment here really quick. Alright, so I got my uh, snake cutting bucket here in my tongs. And so the rattlesnake, I was just, he went back maybe for two minutes and he's still just sitting there in the same position and has a rattle there. So usually they don't rattle until I get really close and start uh, messing with him. But I'm going to get him and put him into the bucket here. And then I'm going to take him back to my venom lab and we're gonna measure him because he looks pretty big. Let's see. Um, I'm about 10 feet away from him now. Oh, I can hear him it's starting to rattle. There, now he's I'm like four feet away from him and he's let me know. He's there. So I have the rattlesnake in the bucket now and he he rattled once I got really close to him but he never struck and this is just a great example that if we hike on the trails and you just keep your eyes peeled and watch out for things that you can stay very safe. You go off the trail uh, it's very hard to find them so you got to pay attention and you need to look where you're sticking your hands. If you put your hands into bushes you could get bit. But, uh, I've been doing this a long time and the rattlesnakes are generally pretty predictable. You leave them alone and they'll leave you alone. Hey, this is Kale, the Venom Teacher. I'm here in my Venom Lab and I have that snake that we spotted that was just off the trail curled up. So I brought it in here and we're going to tube it using one of these. And this is a safe way to restrain a rattlesnake. And I'm gonna put him down on a measuring tape and just see how big he is. And so uh, a lot of people think rattlesnakes get really big, like sometimes 10, 12 feet long is what I hear. And so I'm gonna show you. This is a, 
an average size adult rattlesnake, so we'll see how big he is. So I do have my uh, lovely assistant Shelly here, and uh, she's also my wife, so as soon as I get in the tube, I'm going to transfer over to her, and then uh, we're going to get to see the rattlesnake up close. Ready? Okay. So I'm going to present the tube in front of them. And usually they'll start to climb into it when they feel like it might be a hole. But sometimes this can take a while. They don't always go in. And sometimes they back out. Okay, here we go. There we go. Got it. Alright. So as you can see, he's safely in the tube. I'm holding him with one half of my hand and the other half is holding the tube so he can't get out. And then I'm going to transfer him over now, and then we'll get an accurate measurement on him. Right, here's Shelly, my lovely assistant. And so here we go. All right, so you got him good? I got him. All right, so... There you can see him in the tube. So he's safe, it's not hurting him. And see how he can't get to us. So now we're going to measure him. Oh. Okay. So he's going to hold in right there. He's, he's got a kink in his neck. You just kind of compensate a little bit, like if you straighten it out about how so. far it would be. All right, is that about right? I think, I think so. Okay, here we go. So, he back up. is three foot, three foot five inches. So almost three and a half foot. Okay, we're gonna transfer him. So we're gonna transfer him back to me now. And then I'm going to put them back in the bucket. So I'm going to do the same way again. Okay, I got it. Got it. Okay. Oh All right. So now, this is how you get them back in the bucket. There we go. And we're done. Hey, this is Cal, the Venom Teacher. I'm out in the desert again and I brought the rattlesnake that we measured so I'm going to be putting them right back in the same spot here so here's his spot and here's his bucket let's take a look Remember, stay on the trail, watch where you're going, and it is so easy to stay safe around rattlesnakes while hiking.